Euh, c'est intéressant, ça reflète pas mal euh, ce qu'on a eu toute la semaine, c'est-à-dire de l'intensité, euh, des gens aussi qui veulent, euh, qui, qui veulent se montrer, donc c'est tout à fait normal, donc c'était quand même intéressant, c'était bien. Ouais. Et comme je l'ai dit, il y a eu beaucoup d'intensité, on a eu on a pas eu beaucoup de temps pour respirer, ça a été très intense. Et, euh, et très intéressant aussi, il y a eu des, des, des joueurs de, de, de qualité qui, ont, voilà, qui sont venus à l'essai, il y a eu euh, des nouvelles têtes aussi, on sent que... On sent que l'année prochaine arrive petit à petit et voilà, on a tous à, on a tous à montrer quelque chose. Maintenant, c'était bien aussi parce que le coach a pu s'approcher aussi du groupe. Donc euh, voilà, ça a, été, ça a été, je pense, un sentiment positif pour tout le monde. You know, I feel good. It's nice to get back out here. Uh, you know, it's kind of bittersweet that it's uh, at the end of the season in the training camp that uh, is for next year. But uh, you know, it's nice to get back. It's been a tough year. Um, no way around. It's been a tough year. But uh, you know, it's exciting to uh, go out there and finish uh, on a beautiful day like this and boys all out there competing. So it's nice. It was a good week, to be honest. It was uh, it was intense. Uh, a lot of guys put all, put all their heart into it. And it's tough after a season, you know, where it might have uh, not gone the way everybody wanted it to go. But uh, you know, for uh, for it to end like this on a positive note, it's a good thing. It's as loud as I can talk. <laughs> I always told my voice on the game. You know, it's uh, it's a good game. It's tough conditions. You know, after uh, a long season, like we said, and a, a long week of uh, battling. You know, it, it's been a tough week. Uh, it was good though to see some positive stuff out there. A couple new guys trying to fit into the system, and uh, really, uh, most uh, guys trying to get the uh, whole uh, process of where Jesse wants to go next year and uh, his philosophy and incorporating that into the team. So uh, it was good, you know, and uh, my team won, so I'm always happy about that. <laughs> you know, for me, it's a little different. These guys have battled all year. I've been I've been hurt all year, so it's kind of uh, both sides. You know, for me, it's it's tough just to get back in there. This is the first full week of training I've had in almost four months. So, you know, every day was a struggle getting out of bed, <laughs> just moving around. Was It was a tough week for me. But uh, for the boys, you know, who battled all, all year, to have to come back here and compete like this is difficult. Uh, you know, everybody was really upset uh, the way it ended. Uh, we felt we deserved more, and uh, you know, it was a tough year mentally for the boys. But the uh, the attitude and the, uh, the intensity shown this week was really impressive. Uh, you know, everybody stepped up. It was nice. It was a good game. Uh, you could see the quality start to come together as guys realized uh, other people's got familiar with each other, uh, understanding where guys are going to be, and the quality continued to. Uh, to build as the game went on, but I think um, fitness was one thing that lacked a little bit. But uh, guys have guys have had a long season, and uh, you know when you come in in preseason, they'll be able to fix that. The week in general was tough, man. You know, which is another reason that guys were a little sluggish today. Got heavy legs, man. He, he really worked us well, and uh, got good quality out of every training session. Everything was competitive, so it's a good way to end in the uh, the week. Oui, je pense que c'est ça, c'était ça, cet euh, purpose, cet, euh, cet camp, c'était pour voir vraiment jouer. On a fait beaucoup de mini-matchs, euh, même des 7 contre 7, des 5 contre 5, euh, des 11 contre 11, des 10 contre 10. Alors, euh, pour lui, je pense qu'il voulait juste vraiment voir les gars euh, une contre un sur le terrain. Et euh, il, il disait des choses pour euh, certainement améliorer notre jeu, pour, pour jouer un peu plus euh, rapidement. Euh, mais c'était des, des petits conseils euh, pendant toute la semaine, mais c'était pas une, une grande séance euh, tactique, c'était plus, euh, comme j'ai dit, des, des matchs. It was good, it was uh, quick, it was intense, uh, it was a lot of playing, which was good. We, we got to show a little more uh, what we could do one against one. Um, uh, the speed of play was very quick, like I said, which, was, which is good to start getting used to uh, a quicker rhythm. Uh, and all in all, uh, the coaches were, were to the point, and, uh, uh, and I think it was a good week. Uh, moi, je pense que j'ai bien fait cette semaine. J'ai montré ce que je suis capable de faire. Puis c'est sûr, c'est bien d'avoir des, des joueurs un peu plus euh, qui viennent essayer, puis l'intensité à monte. Fait que euh, moi, je trouve que j'ai quand même bien fait par rapport à ça. Puis c'est bon de voir euh, finalement le niveau euh, élevé que le, le monde veut avoir à ces camps-là, puis d'essayer de, de suivre le rythme. Là, puis c'est bien. It was all right, you know, typical, I think, inner squad game. Uh, intensity level was really high, and everyone's obviously pushing for places, so um, it was good. Be good. Um, I thought it was all right, you know. I'm pretty uh, hard on myself, so I think there's a lot of things I could have done better, but at the same time, I gave it my best, and that's that, you know. Yeah, I thought... Uh it was a good effort and you know it looked more like a soccer game than some of the training sessions that we had were that were a little wide open um, you know I think listen I've been really happy with with the amount of 
energy and effort that all the guys have put into this week. Um, we all know this was an important week for everybody, and um, I appreciate all their efforts. And now, uh, you know, we've got to figure out how, how it all fits. Yeah, I mean, there's moments. There's, there's you know, it, it, the hardest part is it's not, you know, there's a nucleus of the team here that's back, but it's not a team because there's different ele different guys mixed in there. So, you know, the understanding the rhythm and how to play with each other and all that doesn't come naturally. It's it's a little bit uh, more forced. But but still, when whenever you play, there's a feel to the game of whether you know a guy or not, how it fits, the rhythm, the timing, everything. And so you can still look at little instances and pieces of games and training and, and now get a sense as to what a guy thinks and sees and how he plays. So it still gives you an indication of, of, of who they are and what they're about they're they're like I you know there's still gonna be a number of guys that we're gonna look at to say you know this is where we think it fits in we're not ready to say yes absolutely but maybe you're invited to camp or maybe you're you know these are some of your options with fitting into the club next year um, but you know I mean there there's needs to be discussions on what their goals are what our goals are and then how to move forward with it